And what we have here is a Whirlpool Cabrio Platinum. And the customer complains that it's throwing a UL error every time she washes. Now it doesn't matter what the load is. And I ask, I ask a few pertinent questions. You know, UL error is an unbalanced load. And a lot of times it's not an unbalanced load. It's not because of your suspension springs, which is the, is the first thing that most people think of. If you have an unbalanced load, it's the suspension rods have worn out. But on these particular machines, it could be something quite a bit different. It could be the bearings are, are going out. And a good indicator of bearings going out and a definite indicator of them is to be is to look up under the machine. And we'll do that now. And you're looking for telltale signs of rusty water. Um uh, our leaks or a, a seal has has uh, failed and sure enough look at this you can see where this rusty water has come out of the out of the machine it's slung it over on the water pump up against the side of the, the machine so this is a, a sure indicator that the the bearings and seals have failed in this machine and what, what's happening is this shaft I can't make it move but this shaft has moved over and sometimes it'll be so bad that this, this rotor will rub against the stator. And for some reason that causes an unbalanced load uh, indication. So what we need to do is go ahead and change the bearings and seal, seals in this thing. And then we'll do a test load. And if it fails uh, during the test load, then the, the next thing we could do is change the suspension rods. But I don't think the suspension rods are bad in this machine. I, open it up and push down real hard in the center and it doesn't bounce so I'm pretty sure this is our problem so let's get started on this just remove the lid so what you want to do is remove this cover here and we're going to have to remove this console So here we go, we're going to take this loose, take the console completely off, and everything is connected to this wiring bundle right here. Now you want to disconnect this one. And this one. And it goes forward. And up. Be sure now you got this piece, this piece, and you want to hang on to that lid because it's spring loaded and you Find some place to set it. Alright, now we need to remove this ring. And we'll clean all this up as we reassemble it. What it is, you just kind of have some little clips here that, that fit over plastic tabs and just pull these tabs loose. Get this right on off. This hose needs to be disconnected. That aside, driver should go in. There it is. Now, seven sixteenths inch, inch socket on an extension.
Sometimes these are a challenge. Now let's see if this will lift out. Oh yeah, good deal. <clears throat> now we'll need to disconnect our tub hub down here. When you reassemble this thing, you should use a hand screwdriver because these screws go into plastic. And if you use a like an electric driver, it will sometimes strip. And one thing you don't want is your tub hub screws stripped. Now you need to pull this tub and that's not going to pull easily. So for tubs that don't pull easily we have a trick. We use one of these old jacks and what we're going to do is we'll put it centered it on there. Take a board that we've got. Okay, now. All right, next step is to attack this problem from the bottom. The way to take these rotors off here, yeah, these holes here, and you can find a Now there's magnets <coughs> holding this thing on. Yeah, and you can see why this why this happened. You see all that that black stuff in there? What's happened? You, you can see where, it, where these magnets around this rotor have started rubbing on that stator, and that will cause it to give you a UL error. So yeah, this is a mess too. And number 10 volts, four of them. Go around this rotor on the end. And this stator, I mean, this is the stator and this is the rotor. Stator means stationary, rotor means rotates. Yeah, all that black stuff is metal shavings and and uh, pieces of magnet. But the thing is, it really hasn't damaged the, the rotor or the stator. We'll just blow all that out with air. And water had begun leaking down in there and uh, and making this nasty black residue. I think the lady said that there was some black stuff coming out from under her machine. That's what this was. Alright, now there's a metal clip on the back side too. You gotta be careful with this, you don't wanna to break any of these wires on here. There's a clip that fits right here. And this I have to sit this down right here and get a screwdriver. There's one. 
That's the other one. Just gonna lay this in here. Put that. Put all this aside. Now yeah, we're in here where we can work on it. So we need to take this nut here off. You can see this shaking around. You don't have to worry about protecting the splines on the shaft because you're going to change the shaft. do is drive that out of there and the way you do that is you hit it with a hammer and it's going to knock the seal it will knock that seal and that bearing out so there it went and you see seal and bearing and now Using this, you can go in there, you put it against the edge of that other bearing. And it knocks it out the back. There it is. Oh yeah, it's fro frozen. through a day without getting dirty usually it's not this bad what was that piece of the seal and that other bearing didn't come out Clean this up. I'm going to do this and then I'm going to clean my hands up. I hate to have dirty hands if a customer comes up. To fix this machine, you're going to have to have a tool that looks similar to this. It's a bearing press. And in your kit, you're going to get a new shaft and a new set of bearings and seals. Washer, a nut. spacer, some glue, and some grease. So what we're going to do is, is uh, press these bearings in. Take one of these ends off. This big bearing goes in the top and it really doesn't matter which side you use. this and we'll screw that shaft down to about what's even and put those nuts together and now you have your bearing here that's your top bearing this is going to be for the bottom bearing 
So your top bearing, you see this little arm right here? You want this little arm to go up in here so it catches right there. And you put your bearing right there. So you take your second bearing, your spacer, and this piece right here. You're going to drop your bearing right here. Your spacer goes in like this. And this piece, I'll just put it right there. I'm just going to start. As you tighten this, you can feel them falling into place. But you need to make sure they're seated and seated well. Now this back bearing, it doesn't go. It's, it, it's. You'd think that it's not seated well, but it, it has about a. I don't know one eighth. To, on sixteenth, maybe sticking of the bearing sticking out, and that's normal. And you want to tighten just as tight as you can go without hammering on it. Now that should be seated. So you want to back off your puller. I mean your your press. See what I was talking about? That lip right there is normal to be out. And you pull your press out and you can see it push the bearing in. And it's sealed. And that should be loose in there. So you're through with your bearing press. You can put it away. Now, We've got things to do here. So we want to turn it up. You want to take your grease. You know on this seal, you have a lip inside this seal with a, a spring in it. You may make sure that spring's in there. You want to fill this up with grease. much as you can get in there they give you just enough to do this and then on this inside here I always put some in there Now you don't want to get it on the outside edge of the of the seal because you're gonna put a sealer in there. But you wanna get that grease here. And now you want to get your glue. And this cap's got a little point on the other end and you Put it like that, and you want to put this glue on the outside. You don't need a whole lot. It's got like two little grooves there. I always get my thumb in it. This goes in here first, like this, and then this goes on top, like this. We'll stick it in there a little 
little further later. And that's what this is for. And I can push that seal down in there. Got a flat side and a round side, round side out. You don't want to mess up this splines on here. So what I do, I put a rag on it. Hold it as I tighten this nut. All right, the seal's in there. And where's the rest of the glue? All right, you can take this glue. You want to go around the edge of that. Just don't want any. And it'll drop, just kind of drop into place. into place tub hub it's got a washer splines and yeah so you gotta move this around get the holes like four five six on Okay. Let's see, it doesn't bounce, so the suspension rods are probably good. I'll clean these up a bit. So, I'm going to reattach this. You see this arrow right here there's an arrow and this center piece goes where the arrow is and, uh, yep got it These magnets will pinch you, so be careful with them. Good. Now, we're all done under here. Let's go back up on top. Arse plate back in. Hey Roper, what you doing buddy? <laughs> you decided to come out.
So when you reassemble this, you want to make sure that your drain hose pipe goes in the right spot. Get positioned over everything, and it should just clip right on down all the way around. Spring's pretty good. Now, you got dirty fingers when you're putting this back together. You get parts dirty. I like to return the machine as clean as possible. Power cords out of the way. Let's raise our lid up. Here we have these two slots. You got these clips in front. What you want to run it forward, and there's some on the side, forward and back. All right, it shouldn't lift. Now you want to reconnect all your wiring, pressure holes, This up for a smash it. I leave it with those. Let me get this wiring all tied down. Put our cover back on. And tie our top down. Now let's put it on the test rack and see how she works. All right, powered up. We've got a load of towels in there. Let's start it, and we'll come back in 55 minutes, see if it worked. Well, she's spinning wide open. Smooth, smooth, no UL. That's a heavy load of towels too, so I think we got her fixed.